Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing another review. This is Anastasia again, and this time on the brand new foundation, which is called Luminous Foundation, and here it is. So it is their first liquid foundation. Now they already had a stick foundation, which I actually really liked, but I know a lot of people were kind of, some people loved it, some people didn't. But this is their first liquid and it is a luminous natural finish. And I think that is very important in this um, age of very, very full coverage foundations. This is not that, it is beautiful. But before we start with the quick demo, I just wanna say a big thank you because I know I mentioned it last time, but I kind of wanna reiterate. When these arrived and they sent every single foundation, and I'm not saying this so you can go, oh, but as a gratitude, they sent them all. They sent every single color in this huge box and there are loads of these and I am incredibly grateful. So thank you so much if you're watching this for sending it because I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, so I have nothing on my face apart from a really small amount of um, Magic cream, that's it. So I'm gonna be using shade 230N, uh, and we're gonna hope for the best. So I'm gonna place one single pump on the back of my hand, and I'm actually gonna use the um, Anastasia brush for this, and here it is, it's a little domed brush, and I'm gonna use this to blend it. But as always, I tend to like to pop it on the face and blend it out. So once again, we're gonna be doing a realistic foundation tutorial. So we'll be using one pump. For those of you who are interested, there is 171 pumps, at least that's what I got from this bottle. So if you're using one pump a day, that's like five months. That's more than five months. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna blend this in. Sounds like a scary thing outside. Okay, so I'm blending it in and buffing it and I'm going to do it all over, underneath the eye, into my beard, just everywhere. I want this everywhere. And you can see, because this is filmed in 4K, that other than it being a realistic amount of foundation, as in I'm not caking it on for the sake of caking it on, it actually looks really, really natural. Now, the claim is, is that this will self-set. Now, I've actually had this for a little while now, so I can kind of comment on that. It is a self-setting foundation. You do not need to powder it, particularly if you've got dry skin. If you have very oily skin, you're probably best powdering it. And also it's worth mentioning as well that um, the more you put on, the longer it's gonna to take to set. So just bear that in mind. So whatever's left, I'm just gonna deal with this ear because I'm quite sick to death of people commenting on it. So I'm gonna cover them. Almost normal. I get very hot ears. Okay, so there you go. This is the coverage you get from one pump of foundation. Now, technically, I could probably do with a little bit of concealer if you really wanted to go all out with it, but I don't wanna. This is what it looks like in 4K on somebody that's 41 years old. So it's a good, realistic application. Now. While we're here, I'm gonna talk about and set, and I'll put some color on so you can see a final look. The, the loose powder, and I'm gonna use shade vanilla. Now there's 25 grams of product in here, and I'm a fan of loose powders, as you probably all well know. And I'm gonna try and look into the camera, and a monitor above me. Um, I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm just gonna dip it into it, buff it around. Now, I love the foundation, it's bloody wonderful, but I love the powder more. It is exquisite. So I'm actually gonna place it straight on. Because it's self-setting, it's not gonna move the makeup. And then I'm just gonna buff it all over. That's the beautiful thing when you're not overloading the skin on purpose, is that you can go straight in because it self-sets and just kind of, not just mattify everything, but just give it that velvet finish. So we're gonna put a little bit of face color on because you can look ghastly without, and then we'll finish. Well, blush, I mean. So I'm gonna pop on um, Diffused Heat by Hourglass. It is just, it's this along with Electra is just the most beautiful color. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this on, and I'm just gonna kind of go right here and splay it almost in an up and down motion, not in a round, 
kind of circular motion because I want it to look like um, I've actually been outside. That's why I'm kind of going up and it's just hitting that end of the brow as well. And you just get that kind of really rosy kind of look. And then what I do is I just kind of buff around the edge of where the color was. So not the actual center, but just around the edge. Okay, that is it. I almost wanted to not like this foundation. And the reason being is because um, I have liquid foundations that I really enjoy and I have them here and I don't want to change them and I can't put something new in <laughs> unless I get rid of something old. And now I've got to get rid of something old that isn't as good as this. And they're all really good foundations, but that's the way it is. I have to move something out in order to move something in. Otherwise it just becomes a ridiculous game of hoarding everything and then no one's happy. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Truly speaking, and, and I don't just mean this because that they did send them. There's that noise again. It's a really good foundation. It's, it's lightweight. It is light to medium coverage, bordering on medium coverage. It self sets. It looks natural and there is a luminosity about it, particularly if you don't um, set it. It's just, it's just really wonderful. So thank you so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.